Hello dear viewers, welcome! Today I want to show you the base I actually rock in Wipe. A bit off the cuff video, but anyway, it's this one. The Grail, I call it the Grail V1.5. It's basically the Grail 2, the Grail V2, except with no mini china wall. It's just these uh, gatehouse bedrooms with lockers and turret pods, um, but no china wall, right? Kind of... Yeah, kind of scuffed because of terrain, but uh, what are you going to do? And this is my customary HQM um, external TC mini bunker, which I always build. And again, it's a you do you. Okay, let me take you on a quick tour. This is the gatehouse, which I absolutely love, right? Great vision. You can even see like all the way behind you, so you, you can't really get ganked. Yeah, quick drop box for garbage. Oh, this... This, uh, I just came back from uh, doing tunnels, actually. All right. So, this is the third floor, the main living space. And as you can see, it's just a very quick, comfy corridor. So we only spend time here on the third floor and getting in and out of the base is super fast. Right, so here we have the workbench. All the stuff for crafting is right next to it, easily accessible. So, yeah, third floor. Now, down we go. So, here is the second floor, which... Uh, this vending machine, this is where the entrance door used to be in the starter of the base, but uh, now it's... Uh, when later in the wipe, it's just blocked off. And this floor is now the trash floor, because this loot room always gets raided into when people just splash the base. Just pummel. So it's just uh, trash here, and that's... I need to have a talk with someone. Although, I guess we don't need the stone. Okay, now here at the core level we have the TC, which is actually behind this pixel gap. It's there, you'll have to trust me. Uh, watch the base build video. Now, usually there's a double pixel gap, but not this time. And that is, well, because I attached this foundation wrong. How could I do that? Well, um, I, when we get down to serious building in the wipe, it's usually like 6 a.m. And that's just what happens. Now, do I care? No, I don't. I just keep on playing the wipe and have a good time. Also, in the Grail, usually this leads to a loot room, and this leads to an identical loot room behind, which sadly makes the loot room splashable from outside, because if uh, they rocket this wall from behind, it can splash into both loot rooms. So this one I kept, but this one I just added a wall to make it non-splashable. And this is just, I don't care that there's no like protected loot room here, because this is just drop boxes for like uh, the most basic kits for just running out of the base. Yeah, so just some guns, some armor, meds. The good stuff usually goes towards uh, base defense kits and uh, just elsewhere. Fourth floor. Here we have the... Uh, I don't know what to do about these. I, I started having nightmares where they just, you know, this noise, this noise. And it's saying, Feed me, game lights. Because they're always working. They're always on. And you always need to feed them. And it's just terrible. I can't stand it. Now, this is what happens when I have to do electricity, because our resident electrician wasn't playing this wipe. Lover of the building plan and hammer me, not so much the hose and the pipe. And the, the wiring tool, whatchamacallit. And this is just random drop... Uh, never mind, forget you saw this. Uh, pixel Bunker. If you don't know what that means, watch the Grail base build video. I guarantee you love it. Uh, another Pixel Bunker. And these wide gaps are so freaking good. Just so good. I'm, I'm gonna... They're not, they're not like peaks. They're MV peaks, right? Anyone watching the playoffs? Eh. It, it's that time in the playoffs where everyone, the, like the losers, start flopping, right? LeBron flopping, Harden flopping. Yeah, we didn't lose. We just got injured. I mean, okay. I don't know. I don't. I. I really don't know. Anyway, MVPs. Now you will notice. You will notice. I don't have a compound. Um, more on that later. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, we have two of these bedrooms. Well, roof peaks first. If I get ganked next to the base, I just spawn here, kid up, and hold the body from the roof. But it's still, but it's basic kits. Uh, the good stuff is usually 
somewhere where it's hidden. Okay, this is what I call the lab. It's a small one, but we're a small team. Um, oh, I added these peaks, so the roof is much, much deadlier now. Now, the way this works is, bullets can't hit you through two layers of chain link fence. So I can be standing here, I can see everything through this, but I can't be hurt. Here's a quick demonstration of how it works uh, from my Magical Rust Peaks video. Nice, huh? This, this exact situation happened in the wipe three times. Also, if there's an enemy approaching, I can use the fact that we have white gap gaps on the side of this and set up a pre-fire they have no hope of surviving. I'm invulnerable here, I see them, then I just move sideways, ta -ta 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 -ta, and back. What more could you ask for? Now again, you'll notice this is day three into the wipe and we have no compound. We only have turret pods we can open and close for safety around the base. Which, these do function as a kind of compound. Well, better than a compound even, I'd say, because we have full vision all around and stuff. Also, sometimes they give us kits, like people run into them. But anyway, no compound, no high walls. And that is because I hate compounds. Never build them. And I understand this might be a bit uh, weird to some people, traditionalists. But, but let me just explain my thoughts and, and then you do you, alright? So first thing, let's say someone kills you over here. Just like under your base, close to your base. Dude, by the way, by the way, check out this view. And this is a, a server, this is Blue Lagoon. Okay, it's always full pop. Always Blue Lagoon US. Always full pop. Now I know controlling satellite isn't much, but we found this gorgeous piece of flat ground right on top of the highest hill. Just, I couldn't resist. Anyway, so you get killed here. Now, if you have a compound wall, what happens is they hug the wall after looting you, of course, and then they just run hugging the wall and you have no idea where they are because your shooting floor is completely obstructed and they just hug the wall and circle around the base and run into the forest. Not much of a forest because we made sure there's no forest, <laughs> but yeah, into the forest. That's not good, that's not good. However, no compound wall and I see everything. I just spawn up here in the bedrooms and yeah, well, definitely I can say we get killed near the base often and this has been like an absolute boon, just not having a stupid compound. So we can just spawn, hold the bodies, nobody escapes. And that's nice, but that's not even like the main reason why I hate compounds. So I, I don't really get online ever, but would you believe it, I get offline almost every night sometimes. Which I expect that to start happening today, it being day three of the wipe, everyone's pretty rocketed up. So anyway, if you have a compound, what happens is people just uh, make a breach in the compound wall or they fly in with a, with a mini or whatever. If there's a breach, they just have to hold the breach against like grubs and that's it, easy. And your compound basically gives raiders a safe raid. But this here is an always full pop server. And so what happens is people start offlining us and every single naked with a DB is swarming under the under the base. Not to mention the tier 3 chads just bolting at them from afar. So and you so you can see how just not having a compound saved us from offlines multiple times. Now, that said, this is how I play, right? You do you. You have your fun. It's a game, right? We're not engineers here, it's, it's, we're, keep, we're playing a computer game, a video game. So this is my base, the way I like to build it, the way I like to play. Hope you enjoyed the tour, hope the, the compound rant wasn't too insufferable, maybe even thought-provoking or something. I'm kind of on vacation, hence this uh, s somewhat unedited video. Just wanted to show you what I actually build every wipe, every single wipe. But we'll be back with our customary deep dives and technique videos next week. So have a good time, hope to see you again soon, and until then, goodbye for now, and blessed be.